In medical news tonight, the deep freeze. This is primarily about the quest for a second life, an ancient goal which scientists are always pursuing. We've been looking into the future of medicine where the unbelievable is becoming at least remotely possible, such as freezing the dead in order to raise them. Here's ABC's Kevin Newman with medicine on the cutting edge. This ambulance is designed for someone who's already dead. The urgency is to limit the damage dying does to the brain and the body so that someone, someday, might reverse it. Ninety people in America are frozen, hoping to come back to life when medicine can cure them. Many of them are new cases in the past three years. To the handful of companies that charge from $28,000 to freeze them, these are optimistically called patients. When did you get your most recent patient? Uh, today is Thursday. Our, our most recent patient came in this last Saturday. She was, or is, a 90-year-old woman who suffered a heart attack and who is now inside this box cooling to minus 40 degrees with the help of ice and chemicals injected to minimize damage. After a week, she's going to be moved into this chamber and cooled with liquid nitrogen to minus 310 degrees. And a week after that, she'll join the others inside these sealed vacuum chambers. How many people would be in this largest chamber? The largest chamber has 14 patients in it. However, even with the precautions, ice crystals form during the freezing that injure the brain and organs, a problem research is reducing. This is a gradual process, and we haven't had any dramatic breakthrough, but we are constantly improving. If people are being frozen with less damage, there's still the problem of how do you bring them back to life? And in 30 years, nobody's found the answer. But now, some scientists think they may have one. How bodies already frozen can be repaired if they're ever thawed. Which is also reassuring to those contemplating the process who wonder when they'll be able to come back. BC News, Clinton Township, Michigan. Hospital in Memphis. Okay, can I check the paperwork, please? Everything looks in order. You think I take it? A little bit windy. Matter if we look around? Nobody come in right now this time. Thank you. You're gonna have a nice trip home. Thank right. you. Dr. Clark, this is patient number 008, John Burroughs. They come in from Memphis Memorial. Got them in here probably about an hour. Everything should be in right process. Everything going down smooth and fine, looks like. Body temperature is pulling on down. I think an hour probably we can start finishing. Yeah, according to all the process. I mean, yeah, according to all this information we've got, that line should be fine. Camp to resuscitate patient number 008, Mr. John Burroughs. Nurse. Yeah, man. 
have the objection there. Thank you. No use. We've been working on it for over five hours now. You know, he's not reviving. There's a yoke prayer to go back to the chamber. Hang on. Just no use. Yes, I think I got a weak pulse. 